Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hey, why not Palm Valley? Today we're here in Palm Valley. It's a beautiful neighborhood or town in uh, St. John's County. And we're gonna start your tour right here in the community center of Palm Valley. It's actually the oldest continuously operated community association or community center uh, in Northeast Florida. So as you can see behind me here, uh, this, they have this beautiful plaque that talks about the history of Palm Valley and how it all started here. So Palm Valley is actually pretty cool because there's a lot of rich history here. It, it was originally called the Plains of Diego, as you can see behind me. So it turns out this place was originally called the Plains of Diego, named after Don Diego de Espinosa. He settled here and built a fort. He called it Fort San Diego. Diego settled here in the 1730s and around the 1900s, the name was changed to Palm Valley due to all the lush palms that were here. So basically what we're gonna do today is gonna be, we're gonna be driving you around uh, to different areas within Palm Valley to show you the different price points that are available here or which what, what types of homes are available at different price points and that should give you a, a little bit of a better picture of the real estate market here in palm valley but let me just say this the average sale price here in palm valley is one million two hundred twenty five thousand okay so sorry to break the news to you but with that being said let's go check it out All right, so I'm, before we go on to uh, talking about real estate here in Palm Valley, I wanted to show you it and I want to talk about its location. So Palm Valley is located in the northeast side of St. John's County. And to the southwest of Palm Valley, you have Nocatee. And to the east, you have Ponte Vedra Beach. Okay, and so where I'm at right now, as you can see above me, I'm underneath the Palm Valley Bridge. Um, so if you're coming from, from 95 uh, or from the west side, you're gonna hit uh, Nocatee Parkway that turns into Palm Valley Road. And then you come over uh, to this side over here uh, to Palm Valley. Uh, there's a guy coming right now with his, with his boat. Gotta, gotta, it, gotta love it, gotta love it. That's why, that's why we're here in Florida. There's a person fishing over here. There's a couple of people fishing here. This guy's, this other guy over here is just docking his boat. Um, and then there's an awesome restaurant that I love. I love getting gated to is here. It's called the um, Palm Valley, uh, it's called, I think it's just called the Palm Valley Restaurant. Um, so you see all those umbrellas there. Uh, it's a nice little area. People actually drive up, um, park their boat and then they go inside and eat. It's, it's, it's amazing, honestly. So Palm Valley is actually like a big rectangle. So when you Google it, Palm Valley has two main roads that run on, on each side of it. So to the east, it's gonna be A1A and to the west, it's gonna be Rusco Boulevard. And a lot of people like to say that, um, depending on who you ask, they'll say Palm Valley is part of Ponte Vedra or they'll say it's part of Ponte Vedra Beach. Um, I've concluded that I'm gonna separate the four. Uh, you have Ponte Vedra, Ponte Vedra Beach, Nocatee, and then Palm Valley, in my mind. Regardless of how you feel where Ponte Vedra is or Palm Valley, regardless, I would, I would argue that this is where the most of the moolah is. You know what I'm saying, the moolah. <laughs> it's beautiful! If you get the beautiful girls there, it's wonderful. <laughs> All right. In St. John's County is here, in this northeast side. When you include Nocatee, Palm Valley, Ponte Vedra, Ponte Vedra Beach. This is where I believe all the money is um, here in, in St. John's County. But um, you'll get different results. Like when you, if you Google um, Palm Valley, you'll get this big rectangle. But then if you look at addresses inside of um, that rectangle, you're gonna hit, you're gonna see addresses uh, as Ponte Vedra Beach. So depending on how you talk to people here, they'll either refer to it as one or the other, the, one, or, one or the other four. Okay, so your nearest beach is gonna be Michler's or Mickler's, depending on how local you wanna sound. It's gonna be, you know, Michler's Beach. And so Michler's Beach is gonna be a quick five to 15 minute drive, depending on where you are in Palm Valley. And then from here, downtown Jacksonville is about a 35 to 15 minute drive, while a drive to downtown St. Augustine is about a 35 to 45 minute drive.
but before we dive into the real estate market here in Palm Valley, let's talk about what makes Palm Valley so special. With just under 20,000 people living here in Palm Valley, this area has a luxury and close-knit community feel to it. Whether it's an HOA or non-HOA community, you definitely get a sense that the pace of life is a lot slower here. And it's probably why Niche.com gives Palm Valley an overall grade of A+. So what I really like about Palm Valley is that although there's a lot of wealth here, I don't get that feeling of like haughty, like LA, Orange County, you know, feel to it. It feels like a really close-knit community. Now, obviously I might be wrong about that, but I say that because the average medium sale price here in Palm Valley, again, is $1,225,000. Another great thing that makes Palm Valley so special is obviously the schools, right? If you live in a great location, a great neighborhood, very affluent neighborhood, you're going to have great schools, great teachers, and that's the case with Palm Valley. So when it comes to schools, if you go to this website here, it brings you to this attendance zoning information. And if you click on this link here, this is a, the new version of the address locator. And so you essentially type in your address here, say one, two, three, Main Street. I don't know if it'll come up, but basically you type in your address and it'll locate the zone that your address is uh, zoned for in terms of school. So I'm just gonna, or you can do it this way too, where you can click on the school and it'll give you the area it covers, okay? The old version looked like this and you can type in your address here. Yeah, say 123 Main Street. That's it. It's not, I know that's not in Palm Valley, but it'll give you the schools that you're assigned to. And then the other way to do it is if you just click on this map here, this link, it'll bring you to all these maps. And then let's say if you were looking at elementary schools, it'll tell you what you're zoned for. And you can zoom in. All right, so we're here at our first stop, and I'm going to show you where like the the entry point would be, and it's a condo. And so we're here at Ocean Links, um, and so there's a condo here for sale. It's 1,117 square feet. It's a two-two, and it's listed for three hundred and five thousand uh, dollars. So you know the the perk about living in a place like this, obviously, is the fact that you got a golf course, uh, you know, in your own backyard. Uh, let me see if I can get a shot of the of the golf course here. Uh, but it's a beautiful location, and it has everything you, you could ask for from a, a luxury perspective. They have uh, tennis courts, uh, a, a community pool here. Uh, everything's meticulously maintained, uh, and it's a beautiful location. You, when you're an empty nester and you're, and you're trying to like. I think it's sized down anyways, but look, look at this. This is how, look how beautiful this is. I'm gonna give you a 30, 360 view. Um, so for 305, you can get in here and have this amazing, beautiful view. You have the golf course with you. And, um, you know, if you're, if you're a young family, you get access to, you know, great schools here in, in, in Palm Valley. Um, all right, so this is our first location. 305 gets you a condo. All right, let's go to our next location. All right, so what is there to do in, you might be asking yourself, what is there to do in Palm Valley? Um, and to be honest, not a whole lot. Like, if you like playing golf, that's a good, this is gonna be amazing for you. If you like, you know, going to the beach, uh, or, you know, taking out your boat, and jumping off on the intercoastal, that's great too. But there really isn't a lot to do. This is not a party town, and, um, you know, the energy and buzz that you would get, you know, from a normal city, you're not gonna get it here. Um, but I am here at the Ponte Vedra Beach Library and they have this amazing little walkway park um, that's great for the families. And so, you know, if you have little ones, this is a good spot to go to. There's turtles everywhere. Hopefully we can see some. And, uh, you, you know, you're not supposed to feed the turtles, which I don't. I don't feed the turtles. Um, I listen to them. <laughs> I, I really don't. But I only say that because when I was here the other day getting my drone shots, uh, I just stood, I mean, let me see if it happens. I just came to this end here, um, like to the edge of this little uh, pavilion. And um, these turtles started coming up to me, almost as if like, oh my gosh, oh, sorry. That's it, check it out. So 
some type of crane bird that's underneath the water. That's amazing. Anyways, uh, so I, yeah, I was here and I, let me see if it happens. I just stood here and the turtles just started coming up to me. Can't feed the wildlife, so I'm not feeding the wildlife. But I just stood there and it was interesting that the turtles came up to me. So I, when I was filming here, you know, to get a couple drone shots, I noticed, look, see what I'm talking about? Look, I just stood there. This is so exciting. Look at him. Look, this guy's coming. See him right there? He's coming. Look at this other guy. See him there? That guy right there. Look at this other guy coming. I, how do they know that? Look at this guy. How, how do they know to come? I'm not feeding him. And so I was taking some drone shots and all of a sudden, and I was looking back at my drone shot, I saw this lady here at this pavilion and she had like about 20 turtles next to her. And I'm like, how did that happen? And I think, I'm not trying to throw her on the bus, we're gonna block her face for, for her safety. So this is a great spot to hang out with your kids. There's a, a little walkway here that you can um, look at flowers, uh, different birds and they have signs of what birds and what, what type of wildlife is around here. If you're moving to this part of Florida, you know, just understand that it's not Miami. We have friends that are, well, not, there are clients that now are friends that came up from Miami uh, because, you know, the Miami traffic is, is horrible and, and the price, it, you know, the cost of living is, is a lot higher for houses. And so when they move up here, it is a lot slower. Like the pace of life is slower. So even people from Florida are moving here because of slower pace of life. Um, and it's the same thing with people from New York and New Jersey and, and, and Boston, obviously from the Northeast, from everywhere. Uh, it's a great location and um, it's beautiful here. All right, so if you're looking for the party life, you're not really gonna get it here in St. John's County. All right, so we're coming up on our next stop here and this is, uh, it's a three bedroom, three bath. It's uh, 2,015 square feet and it's um, listed at 589,000. And so this will give you an idea of, of the layout of the homes here in Palm Valley, the different homes that you can get. It's a nice community. Obviously there's got uh, really mature trees. Look at this beautiful tree. Hopefully you can get that. Uh, really nice neighborhood, very quiet. I like how intimate the houses look. It almost looks like, like one of those houses from like the 1980s, like Mr. Rogers style. I could see, you could see your kids running, you know, through the street with their bikes and stuff. It's a, it's a nice community for sure. Um, so yeah, that's what I, want. I wanted to show you that one. Let's go to our next stop. All right, so we're here in a new subdivision here in Palm Valley. It's, it's built by Glen Layton Homes. And you typically don't see new construction in Palm Valley. If you do see it, it's going to probably be a small house that was knocked down and a big one is going to go up. You know, a million dollar home is going to go up. So this is an interesting sight to see because, you know, this... Um, Oh, there was just a little rabbit that ran through. Oh, it would have been awesome to get it on camera. Anyways, uh, but essentially, um, you don't see a lot of new construction here, and that's because obviously Palm Valley is, is a well-established community, um, as opposed to what you see to the west of St. John's County, where you see Nocatee, World Golf Village, Silverleaf, right? You see those areas being built out. Here in Palm Valley, um, a lot of the communities are well-established. There's still a lot of green, fresh green, but I'm not sure if, if they're gonna be building in the future here. But yeah, it's just interesting to see a new subdivision coming in um, where you can get an, an amazing home built by, by Glenn Layton. Yeah, so this is a new subdivision. And then there's another one coming up that we're gonna go take a look now. There's nothing going on so far, but I'll give you, uh, it'll, it'll give you an idea of what the area is gonna look like. All right, so we're here at the other new construction site that's happening here in Palm Valley. And just to give you some more color on the, on the Glenn Layton homes, that those homes are being built on Rusco Boulevard. Now it's not on the intercoastal side of, of Rusco Boulevard. It's on the inland side. This new s construction site is being built on the Palm Valley Road side of, of Palm Valley. Um, so as you can see behind me, there's a cul-de-sac behind me here, and then there's a road that leads up to um, this whole subdivision. And uh, it, it looks like they're gonna, they're gonna have about I want to say like 25 homes almost. Um, so it's going to be a little bit bigger, but again, uh, not a lot of new construction here in Palm Valley. So when you see it go up, if you want it, you got to jump on it kind of quick. And then the last thing I would say is that on the way down here, I just saw that they were selling 10 acres. So I think over time, it'll still um, tend to get developed, but again, not, not, not as much as you see in, in other areas of St. John's County. 
All right, so we're here at our next stop. And this is the house that we, I wanted you guys to take a look at. This is a new construction home. It's not even finished yet. Um, it's 3,518 square feet. It's a five bedroom, four bath home. And it's one, a little, just a little under $1.8 million. Um, and this is an interesting house because it's, we're right off Rusco Boulevard, which is where we're gonna go next. And this is in a non-HOA community. Obviously it's on a side road. And one of the, the hacks that I, I feel is a tall tale sign of whether or not you live in a HOA community is the mailboxes. So if you, I'm gonna turn the, the camera this way, you'll see the mailboxes. You see the difference in, let's say this mailbox here and this other one over here, this white one, hopefully I'm getting it in the, in the camera. But you'll see that, and that's a tall tale sign that where that subdivision or that area that you're living in is, is non-HOA. Um, but I also wanted to point out, look at the difference. So you see that one right there, that big one, that big house that we just saw for 1.8 million. Um, you see this little house here, right behind me, which is a lot smaller than that one. And then this guy over here, it's a nice house with a boat in front, right? This guy has a boat actually too, I just noticed. Um, so in a lot of these HOA communities, they, they, you wouldn't be able to park a boat in front like that, right? If they do have boat parking, it's usually in an area where you can drop off your RV and your, your boats. Um, but that's another thing too of non-HOA communities, you can do whatever you want. And then I wanted to point out this little ranch style home right here too. So it's just interesting to see how Palm Valley is set up like that where you'll, you'll have HOA communities like we looked at earlier and then you have non-HOA communities um, and you can take your pick. Um, and I'll show you this last house here. Uh, it's a smaller home but apparently they built this like a huge garage probably for the RV or their boat. Um, which is pretty cool. Pick the way you want to spend your money. You can spend it on a, on a big house or you can spend it on a boat, right? Or an RV. So look at this house here, right? It's, it's a lot smaller, but then they have this huge garage here and you know there's like a boat or an RV there, but it's pretty cool. All right, let's go to, uh, to Rusco Boulevard. Sorry, I just want to make a small correction before we go to Rusco. So this, this street is actually not Rusco Boulevard. It's Canal Boulevard. And then that canal street gets you to, to Rusco. So we're, we're a little bit further in, but still we're pretty close to the intercoastal. And so another thing I wanted to point out is that when you, when you live in an HOA, um, this house here to my right actually has horses. So obviously zoning comes into play, um, you know, depending on what you can do uh, in terms of um, what you can have in your land or not. So obviously if these guys have horses, then this is zoned uh, for mixed use in a sense of like, they can have agricultural, I forget the name of the actual term, but it's a pretty good um, hack. Like uh, one of the things that I, I'll be honest, one of the things that I now moving to Florida, like I was always telling my wife, and this big truck is probably drowning me out. Um, I was afraid, when we were moving down here, I was sort of a, like, I'm like, we, we live in the city of Boston, right? And we were, we were shopping for a house in World Golf Village and I, there were still cow. There still are cows in World Golf Village and horses. And I was like, I don't I want. I don't like. This is crazy, man. We live in the city, and we're going to where there's cows and horses. I'm like, man, we're going from a super fast city life, you know, especially me being a cop. And like, it was super high speed. And then we're moving to World Golf Village, where it's like golf. You know, some people even like golf because it's so boring. Right? Like we're living in the World Golf. So we're, we're living in the World Golf Village, which is like super, super slow. And I was a little bit afraid of that, to be honest. I was sort of like, man, this is gonna be boring. But now I love it. Like, I love seeing the cows, I love seeing the horses. And like, one of the things that we would wanna do in the future is get something like this where you can, uh, you know, God forbid if COVID happens again and you gotta, you know, you gotta get, remember when eggs went crazy? Like, if you can have chickens and, and have your own eggs, I think that's amazing. So it's just interesting, uh, or I think it's exciting to see uh, that you can do that here where you can have land and uh, use it for, for multi-purposes, obviously to have your animals and your agricultural stuff, and then also, um, you know, live, live in the land as well. So uh, just wanted to share that, that, you know, this, this area you can also have horses. All right, let's go to, uh, let's now let's go to Rusco Boulevard. All right, so I'm here at what's gonna be your Publix. This is where you're most likely gonna go shopping for food. Um, and it's got a couple restaurants behind me, as you can see. Um, but this is going to be your, uh, your shopping uh, area if you live in Palm Valley. Um, so as you can see, the Publix behind me. There's also a Winn-Dixie on the northern side of Palm Valley that could be your, your shopping area. But 
box stores, Walmart, Home Depot, you're not gonna get them. That's the pattern, right? When it comes to um, like wealthy towns, is like you're not gonna get your mom and pop stores there, right? They're not gonna blemish the area with a big box store. Another thing I'll say about this area is that even, even the layout of this little plaza here doesn't look like the typical plaza that you would see somewhere else, right? The Publix has like a, almost like a farmhouse roof rather than a big square roof. The way that they laid this out with the architecture and the way that they designed it, it feels more community-based and less corporate and like, you know, like less boxy. I, I guess that's the word I'm, I, I don't know how to put it into words, but it just feels more like community-based. And, um, you know, it's not those typical box stores that you have, you know, a ton of parking. Look at this parking lot. It's really, really small. Um, and they were intentional about that. So this is gonna be your, um, your shopping area. This one here and uh, the Winn-Dixie further north. All right. All right, so we're here at our last stop and this is Rusco Boulevard. Now this is the crown jewel. I, in my opinion, this is the crown jewel of Palm Valley. Let me make sure there's no cars coming because there's no sidewalk here. See what happens when you when you move up. You don't have, you don't get to use sidewalks. So I'm gonna just cross right here. Hopefully I don't get hit. All right. And um, this is a, a beautiful house. We're gonna pass some houses first. Um, I feel like I'm hitchhiking. <laughs> uh, look at this. This sprinkling system is on right now. I want to get hit. Look at these beautiful houses. So this, look at this entrance behind me here. Beautiful entrance. This is. Um, where all the luxury is here in Palm Valley. Now this house right here is 3,149 square feet. It has three bedrooms and five baths, and it's listed at uh, $5.5 million. That's right, you heard right, $5.5 million. And you might be asking yourself, um, you know, it's a three bedroom. Like, why would someone pay that much money? But this is, this is luxury. It's actually sitting on one, uh, just below uh, one and a half acres. So the beauty about houses on this, uh, on Rusco Boulevard is that you're gonna have a lot of separation between your neighbors, obviously, because you're paying, you know, you're paying for a luxury home. And uh, the amazing thing is that you have the intercoastal right behind you. So that's the, the biggest perk is having that water access. And obviously, you know, most, most of the house, I would say like 90% of the houses here are all million dollar homes. Now there's, you'll see some, some smaller homes that haven't been upgraded yet. And it sounds like people just don't want to move out or you know, they're, they're fine. They're like old school people who've been there for a long time and they're, they're, they're fine with that. They're not ready to sell. Uh, but once they do, I could totally see the house being knocked down and, and creating a million dollar house like this one. So uh, yeah, so that's the, uh, the last one there. Um, and the cool thing about this house actually is that you got the, uh, Valley Smoke, which is a, a famous barbecue spot here in Palm Valley. It's right next door. So you have no excuses to, to go hungry. If you're looking for the combination of luxury and tranquility in Florida, you should seriously consider Palm Valley. Different from beautiful areas like Miami and other affluent towns in Florida, Palm Valley offers you a lifestyle of relaxation, safety, and splendor. With a ton of different options for your next home, whether it's an HOA home in a gated community on a golf course or a non-HOA home, whether it's a home on a large lot or a home worth half a million dollars. If you're looking for a home that's a million dollars plus or a multi-million dollar home on the intercoastal or anything in between, Palm Valley has a ton of luxury to offer you. Hey, hopefully this video was helpful for you. And if it was, do me a solid, give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the channel if you're thinking about moving to Northeast Florida, St. Augustine, Jacksonville. My wife and I, we would love to help you in any way that we can. God bless you and stay safe.